All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's learn how to make waffles. Now, earlier today, about a half hour to an hour ago, I turned the waffle irons on. This is something that the opener should do. One of the first things as an opener, you're turning on your stone. After you do all that, you should turn these waffle irons on soon after you get here. All right, so you've already seen how to make waffle mix. Let me point out a couple of things. First off, earlier we took off some waffle mix that they had last night. Now you can see how thick it is. I have a brand new batch of waffle mix and you can look at the difference. You can see that how thin it is compared to the one that's been sitting, it's thicker. So sometimes when we have the thicker, you may need to add a little bit of water into it, put it around a little bit. Remember, when we made this, we did some water because we need to thin that out. For the first time, I'm gonna be spraying them with some cooking spray, the all-purpose spray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some on the top and some on the bottom. I'm gonna do this to both of them. If you don't use this cooking spray, they have a tendency to stick a little bit. All right, you can see my waffle irons are closed. When I'm not using them, I want them to be closed at all times. This and walking away from it is an example of something you should never ever do. Mostly because then they will get cooled down and the waffles will not cook properly. And this will also make them black as you saw that they were. The black is just part of wear and tear. All right, so I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna get one scoop, okay? Just one scoop for overall. I'm gonna put it on there, right in the center. I'm gonna take my waffle iron, I'm gonna close it down, I'm gonna squish it, and then I'm gonna release. Notice how a little bit came out on the edges. This is a good thing. However, if you get a lot coming out and you get puddles down here, you weren't paying attention and you put too much on. If you get none flowing out, you didn't put enough on and the waffle's not gonna be a good size. I should never do one at a time unless I'm opening and I'm making ice cream and I don't have a lot of time, but if I have time, I'm gonna put two on to do it. So I'm gonna get my next one. Dead center. Close it good and tight. Push and then release. You can see I did a little bit too much there. Not terrible. Now, after it's cooked for a moment, then I will take the scraper that I have and I'm gonna scrape off that excess. Make sure you get all the way to the back and bring it all the way to the front. Okay? You don't want to do this immediately after because then you're going to get a lot of wet waffle mix on yours. You want to let it cook for just a moment. Now, if it's during the day and I have a lot I need to keep doing, I can do one at a time and then I can go over and I can do other things such as refill the mix in jars. I can check my ice cream. Okay? Now, how do I know when they're done? They take about 30 to 45 seconds depending on the waffle iron. I like to use my nose. Once I start smelling them, that gives me a pretty good idea. So let me get them ready to go. I have my cups. Okay, this is good. It's, if anything, it might be a little bit overcooked. It's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna put that on. And if I'm making it for dipping, I'm gonna push it in a little bit more. If I'm making it so I know it's not gonna dip, then I wouldn't do this. But when I dip it, I want it more straight up and down. Okay? I'm not using that one, so I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna go to my other one. And again, it's a little bit on the over brown side, but it's not too bad. I'm gonna dip a bunch today to begin, so I'm gonna try to push those down a little bit. We're cooked. We have our cup. It should go in there pretty good anything extra like so that I didn't get a chance to scrape off, we're gonna break off the top. Now, where do the waffles go when they're done? This is a big debatable question, and I'm going to give you the actual answer. So for those of you that wanna be a level three one day, here is your answer. Where do the waffles go? Some of the waffles will go right there in the waffle warmer, okay? So no problem, the waffle warmer is here. Some will go in here, however, Ladies and gentlemen, many of the waffles will go over here to the stone, especially in the evening when it is busy, okay? They're both your dipped and plain waffles will go there. Why do we do this? Because it is so important. You're mixing an ice cream and you ask that customer the important question. Would you like one of our freshly baked waffle cones or bowls? And you can point 
But they say, sure, I'll take one of those plain waffle bowls. You don't have to go to the back and get one. You can point and say, which one do you want? When you do this, this makes the customers even happier because you don't know what kind they want. And when I say kind, I mean these ones are a little cooked more. Some might be cooked a little less. Some might be different. A customer might say, oh, it doesn't matter to me. Then you can grab whatever you want. But there are customers that have a preference. And when they're out here, you can point and give them that choice. Got it? I will be making waffles all day. We need to make upwards of 100 waffles a day between plain waffles. Then they need to go to dip. So you're always making waffles during the day and it brings in a great smell. And I'm sure as you've noticed, for those of you that work here, when you get home, your parents and everybody in your house are like, you smell so good. Got it?